Time now for the gold medal bout in the men's EPE competition. There is Geza Imre of Hungary, 41 years old, first competed in the Olympic Games in Atlanta in 1996. bronze medal in Atlanta, who won a team medal in Athens, competed in Beijing and was 12th, and then in London, 2012. And Park Sang-Yong, while it is his first Olympics, he is only 20 years old. This will be a battle between youth versus experience. And the referee for this bout, this gold medal bout, is Miguel Pagiev of Macedonia. Yeah, well, Geza Imre, world number three, has a wide on guard position. And usually for a left hander, can fence diagonally across the piece against a right hander, and that's what he faces in Park Sang Yung. He's got a disciplined hand position when in distance, and he's very good at wrapping up his opponent's blade uh, if he's attacked handles close quarters pretty well as well. Always bounces around and uh, is always a threat. Can look like he's running out of steam, but let's face it, he's over the age of 40. He's deadly around the upper arm. Park sang Young, one of the shorter members uh, men in the field, has a classic on guard position, bounces backwards and forwards all the time, but has very deliberate steps when he wants to play. So the referee gets them underway and Geza Imre of Hungary, the 41-year-old, on the left of the screen, and the 20-year-old Park from Korea on the right. Nice and simple there. Solid start from the Hungarian. These two have met twice in this Olympic cycle, and uh, you would think with Park ranked down at 21 in the world, Imre at uh, number three, that it's going to be Imre that has the better of them. But actually, Park has a 2-0 head-to-head lead. 15-11 at the Vancouver Grand Prix in 2012, and 15-13 at the Bern Grand Prix in 2014. So two tight matches. Well, looks like we could be in for a humdinger here. Desert Imre taking an early lead. A wild parry from Park. He's a wily fencer, is Imre, but Park showing his speed. Well, that's the thing, it's going to be that contrast of uh, the excellent tactician and experience of uh, that elder statesman of men's epi, Geza Imre, and that explosive speed from the Korean. Distance quite long. But look at Park moving in and out all the time. There's deliberate steps there, and then some more bouncing around. It's all well orchestrated for the Korean. Just trying to find the right moment to launch his attack. Imre holding his blade lower down in the octave position, and it's a double. So if you're new to fencing, then Epe is the only weapon where you can score a double hit. Both fencers get a point if uh, both lights go on and that's crucial for the tactics of the bout especially as we go into the final period if one fencer has a lead then a double is certainly no good for the trailing fencer Park launching one of those attacks but Imre is very good at making sure that his point is on target yeah by keeping it down in the low line he can then fashion hit to the upper arm especially against a right-hander so 4-3 nothing in it it's fought over three 
three minute bouts with a one minute break between the sessions. Park ducking down, but Emre saw that happening, saw it coming. I think Emre's prepared for this ducking hit because if you see the angle of the, the weapon is always pointing down. So if Park ducks, he's always heading back down towards the target. If Park doesn't duck, then the hit just goes over the top of the arm. It's fancy Park having to get just a tiny bit closer than he is at the moment when he launches his attack. If he's to get a single light, he's going to have to do that or go down into the low line. Very close to Imre's foot there. Oh, that, oh, that one's gone to Park. They both had a couple of attempts at that before Park was able to land. Look, one, two, three. It's the third attempt. I think that uh, Imre might have stopped a little early there. Five apiece, 15 the target. And Imre gets one. very accurately onto the arm of Park. Park comes in again, Imre gets him with a, a parry, and the attack parried. It's him with a riposte and is now two points clear. Imre won't try anything too rash now that he has that slender lead. Clock is ticking down. 15 seconds to the break. Park will want to get one unanswered hit before the break. Oh, and it's a double. So a double scored with one second left on the clock. It's likely that they will just salute, step away, and we go into the break. Yeah, not too much in this one at the moment. Uh, Imre just able to uh, claw back a uh, two-hit lead. I think he established a lead earlier on. Uh, this young Korean, though, I think you know, he's just got absolutely nothing to lose. And if he can just get a little bit closer before he attacks, then uh, I think you might find a couple of single lights for him. Imre, though, well, he's had uh, the, the twilight of his career uh, is perhaps the, the best period of his career. He really is on great form. World champion last year for the first time at the age of 40, and now he's contesting an Olympic gold medal. The Hungary have won Olympic gold in the past. That was in, in, in Epe. Uh, that was back uh, in 1972 in Munich. Uh, Jabba Fenivesi and the, the cycle before that in Mexico City in 68, uh, Gyozo Kul Kulcha. Uh, the best that the Koreans have done uh, was a bronze medal. Uh, Lee Sang Ki in Sydney and Jung Si Sun in London 2012. So the Koreans have already uh, done one better than Menzepe than their record. Two points in it. 8 6 to the 41 year old Geza Imre. Fighting someone less than half his age. He's in great shape for a 41 year old. Really, really impressive athlete. And of all the weapons, you have to say that Epe is probably the one that uh, you can last longest at. Oh, oh, Park's got one. Yeah, the first attack didn't land, but I think there was a bit of second intention there because he was luring that counter over the top and then he just blocks it out. Very, very good stuff from Park. In the duck, but uh, the angle of the blade from uh, Imre again proving uh, to nullify the uh, threat of the duck. 
So 15 the target. Slender lead for the world champion, Geza Imre. Oh, that time Park was too fast and able to come around and land. Yeah, so what he's done there is just changed the line of the attack. Instead of coming from uh, what would be Imre's cart line, he's come around the outside of the blade onto the Sikhs line and cut across the top of the body. Worked very well. And uh, a bit of acknowledgement there to his coach as well. He must have said, go the other way. So, nothing in it. Nine all. Oh, that time. <laughs> Cheeky from Imre. He did a park on park. <laughs> Came in, ducked down on the attack. And uh, Park was not able to uh, land a counter and get a double. So, yet again, Park drew level, only for Imre to take the attack oh, and then the lead. Park misses on his attack, and Imre able to hit. Now he's got the two point lead again. And crucially, now. He's only three points away. Four points away from an Olympic medal, an Olympic gold medal. Will Imre allow Park to attack? Looking for the double. Will he make a move himself? This is the game of cat and mouse. This is Epe. Imre trying that ducking attack again. Park was moving backwards. Well, he's gone into reactive mode, Imre. Gone back to the default. He's got the two hit lead. Park has got to come and get him. Imre keeping that blade low and in octave, protecting the lower levels. Next point, so crucial, and it's Imre's. Well, that has really moved him forwards towards a gold medal. Ducks under Park's attack and brings the weapon up into Park's midriff. Uh, this uh, discipline has a team event, which means qualification for it is via the team route. And some might say that Hungary were lucky to qualify because they picked up uh, the African zonal spot. You have to be in the top 16 in the world as a team. There was no African team in the top 16 in the world. So the next unqualified team goes through and that was Hungary. Well, so if they hadn't, then we wouldn't have Geza Imre here at the Olympic Games. And that might be a, well, it's an argument for having a look at the qualification system. Yeah, but uh, nonetheless, he is here because of that. And uh, he won the world title last year at the age of 40. And he's extremely close to being the Olympic champion. So they step away for the second of the one minute breaks. Now, what can Park do? I imagine Park will have to go chasing and up the ante. Yeah, he will. I mean, I like the, the move around the outside of the arm coming over uh, from a wide ceased over to the cart line. That worked well for him. I think the distance is the issue at the moment. Uh, Geza Imre is controlling it beautifully. He's got the lead, so he doesn't need to take any risk, and he can lure Park in. He's also not giving up too much ground as well. So Park, in effect, has, has very little choice. He's got to close the distance up quickly, wait for Imre to step forward to try and push him back, and then go. And I think around uh, using car counter car is the way forward for him. But at 13-9, he needs to really get some single lights very, very soon. So the 20-year-old in the Olympic Games. What an experience for him. He's in an Olympic final. He's guaranteed a medal. He 
comes up against such an experienced competitor who's so good at closing out the bout. Imre's attacks, he's not really committing too much. He's just showing Park that he's still there. He's yeah, and just getting that distance, making sure that he's not pushed to his back oh, line. Oh, that time Park caught him on the arm. Yeah, so that's another way forward, I guess, to not bother about trying to go for body. Just must have caught him ever so slightly on the sleeve. But they all count. Wow. Very agile there from the Korean. But Imre pressing and landing with a beauty. And he's one point away. Well, if he does take the gold medal, and it's looking pretty certain that he will, I think you could start writing the script for a movie about Giza Emre because this is a remarkable feat. 20 years after bronze in 1996. Park gets one back. Imre just needs a double. Didn't land that one, though. And Parks closed the gap. Nervy moments. Imre's pressed for the last couple of hits, the last three in fact, and uh, he's got one. Park's got two. He's gone back to just backing off, taking no risk, luring Park in. He's gonna attack him, I'm sure of it. The Hungarian wants to finish on a flourish. I don't know. He does. Oh, oh no. It's another one for Park. Well, this is an amazing final now. But that, that was not the right decision for Imre to attack there. Surely he's not going to throw this away with uh, risking things when he's so far ahead. Well, he's not far ahead now. But Park is taking advantage of this. Oh, Park threatening early. Imre just needs a double. A double would do it. Oh, oh it's 14 apiece. What a remarkable final here in the men's epee. Geza Imre at the age of 41 was miles ahead and then decided I want to finish on a flourish. I want to finish with an attack and Park has earned the right to be contesting a one-hit gold medal final. 14 all, 15 the target, plenty of time on the clock. Who will be the first to score a single light? Oh, it's Park! It's Park! The 20-year-old from Korea has done it! He's won Korea's first ever Epe gold medal! Unbelievable! What a comeback! And that young man is a massive, massive talent. He was miles behind and he just worked hard, stuck at his game. Keza Emery perhaps made a tactical error, but what a result for Park Sang Young. Well, when he was 14. 10. 49, I think. 49 up. <laughs> that we were pretty much convinced, and I think Geza Imre was convinced that he had the gold. But no. I think Geza's going to look back at that and think, where did that all go wrong? And the 20 year old, what an incredible performance. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Geza Emre there, heartbroken. I mean, bronze in 96, 
silver in 2016. Uh, that tells a story of uh, the Hungarian's career, but what a result from the career. He was down, he was almost out, but he came back at the last. It's Park from Korea who will take the gold. And that's when he did it. A double wouldn't have helped at that stage. They were 14 apiece. But... An uncharacteristic miss from Imre and out of time on that last attack. <laughs> and that's what it means to win a gold medal. Particularly at your first Olympic Games. He came, he saw, and he conquered. Well, he'll be watching that hit time and time again. Let's spare a thought, though, for Gezer Emery, who got so close. Yeah, they love their fencing in Korea, and Park is going to become a national hero. Final confirmation of the rankings, uh, Park Sang Yong of Korea in gold. Geza Imre in second, Gautier Grumier, world number one in bronze medal position.